But uh, can we talk about uh, d- darkness a little bit? So yeah, yeah. Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, was allegedly part of the MK Ultra studies while at Harvard. Uh, do you think this is true? Do you think it had an impact on him psychologically, intellectually, I, and so I, on? I do think it's true, and I do think I, it had an impact. So um, we talked before about are these drugs somehow or other. Um, producing a certain kind of drug experience or do they bring out what's within? Mm-hmm. So we have this experience, yeah, on the one hand, Ken Kesey, and he sort of took positive things out of this. Um, on the other hand, um, you know, we can um, get this uh, opposition to the modern world, to technology, and to the point of uh, creating bombs to try to go after it so that the experience is not in the drug, it's this interaction between um, the drug, the person, the context. And so we can heal people with um, psychedelics or people can be driven crazy with psychedelics. Um, it, it depends again on the context. And so I think it's both these things can be true. And I think it was really good that you kind of highlighted this, that there is this um, polarities and that it's not in the drug, it's in the the other factors and it's who they were beforehand and then how you use that experience. So all that's to say is if we put LSD in the water and everybody were gonna get it, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden everybody's gonna have a mystical experience and then that's you know all we need to do and humanity is spiritualized and we're end war and all of this. It's, it's not about the drug. And th- that actually is why for me, um, we've also talked about um, engineering new psychedelics and all the people that are gonna be trying for-profit companies to develop and patent new psychedelics. For me, the most important challenge is new cultural contexts that can create legality, safety, support for the existing psychedelics that we already have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have so much incredible tools in these existing psychedelics that it's more about creating context for them to be used in safe medical or personal growth or recreational even with harm reduction, all these different ways. That's more important to me than finding some new molecule that's somewhat similar or somewhat different, but you know it can be patented. So it's the social context. So I, I do believe that uh, Ted Kaczynski was part of NK Ultra, and I think it affected him in a negative way. And that's a cautionary tale, that it's not in the drug, it's in the context. The context, the person, still, it feels like um, if viewed from a therapy perspective, perhaps there was a way to use psychedelics to help Ted Kaczynski find a path out of the darkness. I I think so. And I think that um, this is where I think MDMA comes in, in a way that MDMA is, um, you know, he felt very isolated and very much um, out of society in some ways. Um, MDMA um, stimulates oxytocin, which we haven't mentioned, which is the hormone of nursing mothers, of love and connection. It it provides a lot of this sense of self-acceptance and safety and and wanting to be in relationship. There's Gould Dolan is a neuroscientist at Hopkins. She's given octopuses (laughs) MDMA. They're solitary creatures, except mating season, which is not very often. But you give them MDMA and they become more interested in hanging out with other octopuses. Mm -hmm. So- I think this, um, for people that have had difficult psychedelic experiences, um, MDMA helps them integrate them. We've worked with people that had uh, a difficult LSD experience 40 years before Mm -hmm. and are still able to get back to that under the influence of MDMA and work out some of the conflicts that they weren't able to resolve all those decades before. So I think that psychedelics could have been helpful in a different context for Ted Kaczynski. But the other big part of it is that people have to be willing to cooperate with the experience. We talked about resistance. So people can resist these things. It's, uh, you know, the saying is you can drink, bring bring a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. This is about how people have to be willing to go to these spaces. Mm -hmm. So one of the essence of our therapeutic approach is that we help people to heal themselves, that we are not giving them the healing. It's, it's, it's a flip on the power dynamics that existed, um, you would say in the 50s and 60s, my dad was a doctor and the doctors were gods and you know whatever they said was right. And 
you know, we, we no longer, of course, believe that, but um, for a while, psychoanalysis with Freud, you know, mm -hmm. that they gave the interpretation to the patient. The patient couldn't help themselves, but they would do the free associations and the mm -hmm. psychoanalyst would see these conflicts and would, would be the one that does the healing, would give this interpretation and that right. would open things up. So I, I think it's this idea of empowering people to heal themselves. And so if Ted Kaczynski had been in a therapeutic setting with psychedelics, and if they'd had something like MDMA available or MDA, which was popular during the 60s, which is a more like MDMA-LSD combination, um, the outcomes might've been different.